Welcome to a new super awesome amazing survival series. I know I just started another one last week and I was like, I'm not gonna start another one. I'm gonna finish this one and now we're doing a new one. I understand how that looks. Here's the thing, that server was already crapping out and it was breaking just like all the other ones because no matter how much I love this game, Ark Ascended just isn't ready for super overly modded, crazy, complex servers, which is, it's always what I end up doing because I add like a mod every single episode. So I was looking into it. I was like, how are other YouTubers doing these survival series and none of it's crashing? And it turns out anyone doing a super modded server is just in single player. That's all it is. It's just, it's all it is this whole time. The servers explode, you see. The single player can handle any nonsense you throw at it. See, hear that robot? Look at this. Look, we just walked up on as soon as we spawned. Freaking Horizon Zero Dawn robot walking around. This is why every other series crash and explodes. Look at the little... Oh my god! It's also pretty hostile. Yeah, see, this is the kind of crap I'm talking about right now. This is why we can't have nice servers. So welcome to my first single player survival series since like the freaking Edudaki days or something like that. It's it's been a hot minute. I have a huge freaking learning curve. So let's get started. So much freaking talking. I do have a little bit more things to tell you, but we need to get like headed towards the beach because I have goals, dude. For the mods I've added to the series, I have episode one goals. I guess the first goal is just getting the hell to the beach. Leave a like on the video to support all the wonderous beauty I have upholds. None of that sentence made any freaking sense. Okay, first, Crisco. I do love Crisco. Obviously, I'm gonna miss Crisco. He's been in my ARC videos for freaking ever. So, like, not having him here does suck a bit, but sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet. If I wanna actually post an ARC Ascended modded series, then we gotta just freaking... We gotta just do it. Is this thing hostile? It's a Jerboa, but it's like... Yep, there's battle music. Son of a bitch. Okay. It's so beautiful and pink, though. So the main mod we're using is Primal Chaos. I did a series with that before, but I stopped for a few months to let the mod update. And then the series broke, or the server broke, but it's updated so freaking much. There's so many ginormous monsters in this in this mod now that I had to do it. I'm a sucker for big... This guy's just, just kill me already. I'm just gonna die when I run out of stamina, you dick. I was thinking if we would just do occasional scary videos and stuff or other multiplayer stuff with Crisco, because... There's some, good, there's some good scary games out there that I haven't touched because I'm a piece of crap, but they look pretty freaking awesome. Oh crap, altitude. My old nemesis. We also don't have the ability to freaking raise our movement speed in this, which I guess you guys are pretty much used to, but Crisco's servers are all like modified to enable you to do it. But the thing is, it kind of just made the game sort of too easy at certain times also, because everything's made for the character to be slow. So if you're fast, you can just outrun all the creatures. So in a way, I'm happy we don't have that. I don't fuck. God damn it. I don't know what it is, but I heavily suspect you die easier from fall damage than this. Like I have max difficulty up on the server, but I didn't actually check what that does. Does that literally make you die from falling shorter distances? Because I... I swear to God it's happening. Whoa. See, this would normally you'd be fine, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? It's a thing. Okay. <laughs> that, that confirms it right there, bro. I could survive that in real life. I fell out of a two-story window when I was six years old, bro. All right. I, I assure you, we'd be fine. I landed in the dirt. That's like the whole reason I was survived. Also, I landed like kind of perfectly, but... We're a grown man falling under. Okay, we lived. Just get to the beach, man. You dumb idiot. You bitch. Okay, calm down. Kriska is not here, so now I'm going to get all the abuse. Well, who put this giant rock wall all around the crest of the beach? What is that godforsaken music? That is not a happy music. What's breaking trees up there? Oh, God. Oh, heavens. There's a kaiju on the ridge. I don't even see what's doing it. Oh, man. This is scary as hell. I don't like... <laughs> I can't even see what the hell's doing it. Just trees dropping all around me. Freaking tree apocalypse. Is it worth it trying to loop around right here? It's so much closer. I'm gonna do it. Just hug the wall and hope for the best. Oh, sh**. That was the sound of raptors. Damn it, dude. Damn it. Damn it to hell! Nothing's good in this world! Oh, God! Balls! You know what? We have the freaking reusables mod on the server. And the reusable bola. I haven't actually equipped any. I, I've just been trying to run to the beach. I now see we're gonna have to fortify a bit to get 
to get that far in this world. Okay, the reusable bullet, but where is it? Okay, it's level 10. It doesn't require hide. I can't remember its exact resources, but the fact that it doesn't require hide, I'm just gonna make one to get there. Oh, also, the uh, minus one on the thumbnail. I should probably specify what's so freaking awesome about that. And how <laughs> I'm, I'm actually just realized this is probably, it's probably a few people clicked on the video who are pretty uh, suspicious of if that's just the biggest clickbait they've ever seen in their freaking life. So check this baby out. This is the Godzilla minus one I've been commissioning from a very awesome mod developer. It's freaking beautiful. It's like supposed to be the exact size of, actually, I don't know. I don't know if we actually scaled it that professionally, but it's around relatively the exact size. Minus one would be an Ark Survival Evolved. It's taken quite a bit because Ark is the most complex, ridiculous thing ever. And Ark Ascended, I guess, is just like even more ridiculous. It's just Ark on steroids. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's going to be freaking sweet and beautiful. Now, there was a little confusion in my last Godzilla Evolved video regarding if stuff was going to be copyright because I said that... Ark was removing copyright stuff, and then you guys were saying a lot of copyright stuff is still up. So I looked into it, and it turns out it's most likely just like uh, cross platform mods, like mods that can be played on PlayStation and stuff, because Sony's got a bit of an issue with that kind of stuff, and I don't know if Xbox does too. There's a freaking T Rex right over there that's gonna make my life suck so many more pairs of balls. There's so, so much more balls, so much bigger balls. What's the, what's the correct way to emphasize the amount of balls you've got? We've talked about this for too long. I wonder if we'd be better off just trying to swim there to there because then we just have to go through there, out there, and then right into the beach. But there's some... Oh, gosh, it's going to suck no matter what we do. <coughs> but for the Godzilla Minus One, so it's already going to be a public mod for PC because PC mods are allowed to stay up. So, I mean, we can try to make a cross-platform, but there's a chance a wild card's going to take it down or something like that, which... We can do our best, you know what I'm saying, for everyone to access it, but at a certain point, it's kind of out of our hands and into Ark's hands, you know what I'm saying? I could try to get to that little island right in front of us, but there's an Alpha Dodo on the beach and another Alpha Dodo right there. They're going to kill us in the water. There's such a bullshit amount of large carnivores in front of me, dude. What the hell? There's not even a little bit of... It's just a wall of, of teeth. Okay, so I just... <laughs> I don't know what way to take... I think we might have to just build up a little base, get some metal so we can get a freaking, at least a crossbow grappling hook and a parachute, and then take the upper way. Oh my gosh, a giant spinosaurus in front of us. Okay, yeah, we're going back in. I'm not, there, there's, <laughs> there's no chance. They make it so hard to get to the beach. I know it's on purpose. The developers set these spawn points. The minus one should be coming pretty soon, but I don't want to make any promises whatsoever because like it, it's almost done. But I'm just going to leave a big fat room for air because that's usually the best thing to do with mod development. You never know if there's going to be some random issue that people run into. Like that freaking bloop mod was so close to being done and then I said it was like a month away. And then it ran into like audio related issues and took like two more months. So I was like, after that, I just don't say anything. Like it'll, it will be here when it's here. But it looks like it's pretty much relatively just about done, which is very exciting. Why did I start a fight with this thing? It's a freaking beta. It's, it's all muscular or uh poison whatever the green tear is it's got green glowing eyes i'm gonna start spoiling my pop oh shit no no damn it no 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 i had a forge crafting i was messing <laughs> damn it damn it dude what the hell just two giant golden raptors charge out of the bushes oh my god i scared my dog awake run Run for your life! Bait them away from my freaking stuff! Damn, I only got one of them. The other one's back there destroying my shit. Oh my god, it's horrible. <laughs> dude, dude, that's so mean. Oh my god. There's so many big modded things out here. Squirrel away what resources we can and then shuffle back into our little castle. We must rebuild in here. No! I used the hide for the bed to make... I mean, use the hide for the forge to make a bed. Why the hell do you need hide to make a freaking bed anyways? It doesn't even add up. I mean, uh, forge. Bed makes sense. <laughs> I think I could bowl of these raptors, can't I? They are raptors. One of them's far over there. This is my chance to get this one. We can. Hopefully it's not a super high level. I don't know, it's bleeding quite a lot, but I'm gonna back up a bit just in case. You know what? I don't even have that much stuff on me and I got a bed placed down really close. It's fine either way. 
Nice, dude. Okay, there's one of them done. I can get back to my original forge. No way. Oh, these guys don't even drop regular hide. That's not useful to me at this moment. Just give me the good stuff. I don't even care about the other crap. Yes, the hide. Okay, you can have the rest of it. Damn, dude, a T-Rex walking over by the entrance to my freaking... My little cat, okay, at least he can't fit into the thing though, you know what I'm saying? That's like, that's, that's why it's smart. There's this glowing purple <coughs> monster over there. Damn it, I need those other rocks he's next to. They're never that fast moving. Oh, it's just a big purple cloud. Well, that makes sense. But there's clearly something that comes from that rock over there. Damn it! Never mind, I can repair it. Okay, I'm, I'm getting every last drop of metal I can because I want to get the hell out of here. Well, now I kind of want to see what's in it. I feel like it's got to be one of those rock things, though. It obviously is. It's so good. Whoa, mama! Woo! That was actually a close one. I'm not going to lie. That was, <laughs> that was closer than I thought it'd be. I didn't realize the rock he was going to throw was going to have this crazy giant. Oh, and he's coming. He's actually still on. No, no. Okay, good. He stops. Did he stop? Okay, he's turning around. Oh, thank God. And there's our little hole in the wall right there. Anyways, we were going to be... Who's following me with increased footsteps? Oh, I can't even see where the hell these... Oh, you sneaky little bastard. No! Oh. No! And that's why we put... Didn't I just bully you? Oh, there's another one I pulled at the beta. Well, thank God we stopped the beta. That would really suck. I actually can't see anything. I'm just blind firing, but... It worked out. Make a bit more metal, bitch. All right, and then we do need a smither. So just to get to the beach. This world we live in. Crossbow and... The hell can I spell it? Damn it, dude. Level 47, that crap's on my whole floor. We're 38, I guess. We'll just craft up a bit. This is what's all about, the rustic rope furniture. About to be hella sexy. We're gonna need a fishing rod where we're going, if you know what I'm saying. Some rustic wood foundations, some floating rustic wood foundations, large fake sails, yes. Catamaran. That's what it's all about. Just a guy and his dog on a catamaran. I'm sure it's about other things for other people, but I, I'm just a guy with a dog, so that's how I that's how I see life. An improved arrow. And how is this better than a regular one? It's improved, but wow. The crane. That's what, that's what our ship's gonna need. The crane can be used to unload resources from creatures and then distribute those resources to your selected containers, which is where our sheds for fiber metal. You need a fiber shed, a metal shed, a stone shed, and then a bin, exactly. Or bins, yes, yes. It's going to be beautiful. Reasonable parachute. That's what I forgot I came in here looking for in the first damn place. Another tree fell. I swear if there's something on the freaking hill above us. If I build this whole thing betwixt these castle walls just for that kind of crap to happen, I would be, be so upset. An another tree just fell right there. Something's getting closer. Something big is getting closer. While I craft cooking cooking pots to get some experience points, I'm, I'm slow walking over here so I can place a sleeping bag down in preparation of if in case a monster comes down off of there. Whoa, oh, two trees that time. Oh, Lord. Whoa, man! Dude, cooking pots were the strategy. Good God. We're level 47. I think the heighten increase experience from like all these mods. Yeah, it's like one level for, for cooking pot. And then we just dump them on the ground like a piece of crap. Dude, there were so many more trees over there a second ago. They think this is just silliness, but I assure you it's not to be taken lightly. Always assume the worst. Reusable grapple hook, nice. Oh, I should get that freaking gravestone mod too, where you could just like get your body from it. Oh, there's all our stuff. Okay, there's, where's the shizzle? Oh yeah, it's in my inventory, isn't it? You shun of a fiber, come on. Yeah, I don't know how this whole time I didn't notice we needed cementing paste as well. I tunnel vision to the crap out of that. Oh sweet, that Rex is fighting the other raptor. My problem's taking care of themselves. Although there's some crazy hue glow coming off that. Oh, damn, dude. Okay, yeah, we're not going to mess with that raptor. Although this is kind of my chance to kill it. Although just kill that T-Rex though. I feel like my spears aren't going to get it. I don't know. It's worth a shot. Come here, buddy. Maybe that T-Rex was just a super low level and like was really bad at life. You never know. Could have been a total goober. 
After like five seconds of this, I'm gonna start running though. Just to be sure. Oh yeah, let's start backing up. I'm not seeing enough damage indication to fully... Although, although... Nope, definitely not. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I just wasn't seeing enough red on him. Oh Lord. Is he coming after us? He is. Hey, why isn't there a freaking... Ch oh wait, where's he going? He's running away as well. Maybe he was about to die. No, he's just not red enough for me, bro. He's gonna come back to our base. There's just no... Dude, we both booked it, though. Thank God. Wait, I don't know. He did just kind of take a turn. Why did he take a slight turn inland? Oh, God. Okay, he's over there. He was right outside our gate, but then he went back out towards the water. Woof. I was so worried that, like, Arc Ascended AI crap was gonna make him find his way in here. <laughs> Okay, we got our crossbow. Oh, what the fuck? No way! No way, bro! No way! I don't even remember what the, what the hell? How'd you get in here, man? I just checked over the wall for you. Okay, I'm seeing blood. Hope, hoping to God that's blood. How the hell did he just... That's insane. I'm never gonna trust anything again. The, whole, the Arc Ascended AI guided his booty cheeks right on into here, bro. Looks like he's gonna die though. But like he's gonna unfreaking bowl at any second now. And there's gonna, be, there's gonna be a serious issue. It says like there's like a yellow indicator over bola him, so I don't know what the hell that means. Let's get up here. Let's get some height height advantage on this sucker. I'm so confused. Okay, now we have a green check mark over bola him again, so let's No! You're a bad person! No! I don't need this in my life! Okay. <laughs> Can't believe he did. He did eventually track his way back in here. What we saw was the AI tried to figure it out and it did it. Crap, dude. We need one more metal ingot. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> oh, wait. We have three metal raw or three, three metal nodes that should at least give us one metal ingot. Yes. Okay. Reusable parachute being crafted. And we've now got our enough. There. We've got our grapple and our reusable parachute. Yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> So much work to get those two very simple things, but we've done it. Oh crap, trees are falling again. Okay, it's time to get out of here. Looks like we could carry the majority of this crap. Damn, dude. That's unfortunate. I was hoping I could just pick up the smithy. Yeah, we can carry all this stuff. Freaking awesome. I'll leave the bed here, and I'll leave you here just in case. We have to come back. All right. Into the wilderness we go. We're getting the hell out of here. Oh, there's a freaking glow in your bow right in front of our base. Okay, no one ever said this would be easy, Johnny. Well, damn it. Oh, there's a freaking glow in T-Rex or Stego or Triceratops. You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, they all look the same from behind, bro. Okay, it's a Triceratops. It's just unusually big. The Jubo is walking perpendicular with me wherever I go, like just pushing me towards that. So we're just gonna go way over this way. This is so much worse at nighttime, but I'm not waiting till daytime. That's, that's just crazy. You call it a, a backtrack. I call it a sequel, baby. Nice. Good coping. Good coping mechanism. <coughs> the key to making it in life is coping with damn near anything. Okay, if we make it to the top of this hill, the, this mountain, then we can just freaking parachute to the beach. Going swimmingly, so if I swear if I just pop up here, there's like a freaking dragon looking at me in the face. <laughs> I'd be, so, be so pissed off. Okay, we could almost make it, but let's go a little bit higher just for just for certainty. Okay, I got my sleeping bag just in case I have to place it on the beach floor really quickly. I'm sure it's gonna be fine, you know what I mean? I'm just I'm not <laughs> I've gone through enough nonsense today. Not taking any uh chances. Raptors! All that preparation just to panic at the sound of a raptor. Unbelievable! This is it. <laughs> it's a half an hour in preparation. This is my genius to get us to the beach. And I will say it's working, okay? If it works, it's not stupid. Damn, there's glowing jerboas even on the beach. Oh, shit, there's one down there too. Just can't escape these turds, can we? There's actually a bunch of scary crap over there. And there's like robots patrolling the beach, but it looks like nothing bad is spawning on the sand. So like, this is... Our next little point of fighting, like, whoa, 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 the fall damage! Oh, that was so scary! 
I forgot the fall damage is freaking extreme. Okay, now operation make a raft freaking ASAP, buddy. Crap, we need we need hide to make a to make a raft. We need hide. And the only things around here are uh, are very bad things. Oh dear. Everything on the horizon is glowy or a robot. Damn it, damn it, damn it to hell. Where's the dodos in this world anymore? We need to get the attention of a seagull. <laughs> it's our only chance. What is that big flappy wing that just went out of the water? Oh my god. It was so faint you guys probably didn't even see it, but... There's something in the water. Okay, we need the attention of a seagull or an aircraft ah. overhead. Oh, nice! <laughs> okay, now we just need to extract that body without anything over there getting a peek at our gander. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I hope to God that was just enough hide. <laughs> They're so close, dude. They're so close. And if they see us, we die. Oh my God, we need two more hide. You, you, you're doing this on purpose to me, man. Oh, clean. Okay, that was a little too close to the to the Jerboa also, but not, I think I'm just being panicky. Yeah, you're just being, you're just being a scaredy cat. Well, there's another Jerboa right in the tree line over here. And I'm worried he's going to pop out at any random moment. But maybe not. Here, we got a raft crafting. Now we play the waiting game and we go get to a safe beach and actually start <laughs> this freaking survival series. Like two hours later. Ah, oh, it's only been an hour. We're fine. Ha! Ha! And we're free! All right. Now we can finally play the game. Imagine if a whale just got us. Yeah, let's stay right over here. That would be so demoralizing. Oh God, what is that? Hopefully it probably doesn't attack rafts, so we're fine, but it's like, damn. What a Megalodon to just be under us. What a mystical being. Okay, if those things don't spawn on sand, they only spawn where the grass is, this beach over here should be fine. Like, theoretically, it should be all good. There's one other better place I want to actually make my base, but... It's not, it's far away. Oh no, what's that gold figure appearing in the shadow as I get closer? I could, okay, I think it's just a trike. It's, okay, yeah. I come all the way over here for peace and solitude. <laughs> it's like Dawn of the Dead when they escape the zombie infested city and get on the boat. And then finally all they get to is an island that's even... I don't want to give up the ending, but it's called Dawn of the Dead for God's sakes. It's not called Dawn of the Puppies. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna hope for the best. Okay, I've gone and eaten a sandwich. That's a lie, dude. I had to defrost the meat. I just made a tray of cookies. But I've gone and eaten a food. And now oh. I'm back and ready. I'm, I'm pretty scared, though, because I remember the world I left off. And now we are back in here. And I pretty much just cowered it just away and went and made cookies. Okay, so this is the current goal in life right here. The catamaran, the sexiest boat in town. We need to just go get some hide. Should be pretty easy to do. Or super difficult, I don't know. But there's like that thing is... I just see alpha dodos, very small pixelated distantly away. Alpha dodos that probably won't even appear in the video, but they're there. And there's some purple thing, I don't know. I'm just gonna utilize our mods in a way that help us survive this nonsense world. Yeah, cause that's a freaking purple glowing turkey over there. And the regular turkeys are giant dickheads. So I couldn't even imagine that one. Like, yeah, usually grapples don't infinitely resupply, so you can't do this. But also, usually dodos don't have the power of, like, Super Saiyan, so it's, it breaks even. Wow, what a beautiful cliff and moon. And then there's some structures in the sky that just ruin everything. Shit. I was really hoping there's just a family of dodos up here. And what mystical green cloud is that coming through with the beauty? Well, on the upside, we got nodes up here. Dude, I love me a big ice mountain. It reminds me of Matterhorn from Disneyland or just anything. Any number of giant, magnificent, like, snowy mountain. The Grinch? Okay, now we descend upon our victim. Oh, careful with the fall damage. Oh, we're still gaining a lot of speed. There's a turtle right there. There's an alpha dodo right there. I wonder if the alpha dodos drop. Uh, are we gonna land right on this sucker? I wonder if they drop any sort of... No, they're obviously just gonna drop a freaking regular hide, though. That's what they do, but there's so many normal creatures around here. What's making that noise? That's a weird noise. All right, cease your evil doing. Hang on, where are we going? Oh, perfect, bro. Where's he at? You bitch! 
Now we strike. What's that drumming? Drum? Well, that was stupid. Be like Buffalo Bill walking around town, looking for looking for a nice pair of skin to wear around the house with my wiener tucked between my legs. That's what Buffalo Bill did. All right, sweet. The catamaran is crafting. This is exciting. This shall be our home for any time we are on the water. I suppose until we tame some kind of giant sea creature that we can build upon. The thing is though, there's like a castle, the Amissa castle in the desert. I kind of want that to be one of our, ah oh, shit, it's heavy. I kind of want that to be one of our like stationary land bases. It's probably what everyone does. It's so basic, but it's such a cool castle. But for the most part, I like living on the seas. I just always, well, we just need somewhere to keep our creatures. Living on the ocean, man. All right, so we've got our catamaran. I'm just gonna drive it on over because it's too heavy to carry. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. The girth on this thing. Like so much building space, you know? We could have so much going on on this. I have big plans for this until we get bigger, better, more epicer boats. But until then, this just absolutely craps on the raft, dude. The raft sucks compared to this. I guess it's a raft. It serves its purpose. It's not meant to be a nice big boat. It's meant to be a raft. And for that, it serves its perfect purpose beautifully. This is so much bigger. I'm just gonna put everything in this crap and then go out to the middle of the ocean where I feel safe and secure. Or not the middle of the ocean because I don't feel safe and secure at all there, but like somewhere relatively away from shore, I guess. Okay, so we do need to, uh, we need to get some more supplies. A bunch of, a butt, a butt crap of more supplies. Damn, I just say words. Okay, these rustic wood foundations all require metal. All this crap requires metal. Okay, so we're not making a floating foundation yet anyways. We have the catamaran because that requires beer barrels, which is probably easy to craft, but I don't want to... We don't need it yet. We're not making that. We're not making a stationary house just yet. We mostly just need rope stuff for the structuring, which is all pretty... It's, it's mostly fiber because it's made out of rope. I like that detail. And then we just need some rustic stuff. Is the rustic... Actually, I guess we just need rustic foundations. What we do need though is a rustic toilet, some rustic boxes for storage. I guess we've got the rustic cabinets and chairs and tables. We don't need a, we don't, we don't need like, we, 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 we may need some lighting. I don't know. Steel drums? No, I'm going pirate vibes. That's too modern. Oh wait, what do you need to make the crane? Wait, where do you make the crane? You make the crane in the smithy. Okay, it's not that expensive. Oh, ooh, it is a lot of metal ingots. Oh my God, okay. I don't even feel safe with it this close to shore. I'm gonna back it up away. And we have to like parachute to it or like grapple to it. If we're not parking this on the sand, there's there's a way too much at risk here. Damn, this game is beautiful. <laughs> dodos? No way. I will not pass up easy hide, man. Sometimes there's no dodos for a long time. It's just glowing jerboas, but you're also actively all over the beach right now. It's rather concerning, but I just really don't want to draw them towards my boat. Thank God it's like at least not on the shore though, you know? I need another crossbow. Oh wait, you can just cycle it. I forgot. I forgot you could just do that now. Oh, oh you idiot. Okay, this sucks. We gotta like, uh, I don't know. We gotta go around them. I know they're gonna run faster than me. I don't even want to aggro them in case it's some weird modded thing where they stay aggro on you forever. You know what I mean? Like the raptor, it's just best just they don't know I exist. They're freaking everywhere though. Woo! <laughs> you get you get loose with it once, you know. Actually, there's really not a lot of freaking metal up here. It's, it's really most, I guess there's these, but I was looking for actual legit just metal nodes. Really not a lot going on up here. Not chancing anything, bro. That actually probably would have killed us right there. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> that would have... That was about as far as we jumped earlier when we died. You gotta be so careful. It's just so nice. There's no creatures up here. It's like so open season to just gather as much as I possibly can. I keep hearing the sounds of distant robots, but I think they're just really loud. I think we're just hearing them from far away. Oh God, what's that music? Pretty sure it's just stuff down beneath us. Don't worry, Johnny. What's going on down there? Oh, that'll do it. Yep, that'll. Big old giant mega trike. Look at it in size comparison to that parasaur right there. It's a freaking monster. And it's on the beach. Damn. <laughs> okay, I think that's us over there. So we'll just skidoosh. 
Imagine this wasn't where our boat was. It is for sure, but like, that would suck. <laughs> that, that would suck a lot. I don't see it yet, but I'm, I have faith, you know? I see an alpha dodo. Oh crap, is that us over there? No. Or is that us over there? Oh God! Damn, dude! I was right, this isn't it! Uh, damn it. Oh, poo! Okay, we gotta drop some metal, because I'm actually a little over encumbered right now. I'm just gonna drop this. This crap is heavy as hell. Oh my god! That's so stupid! Hang on, we could probably just, like, travel fast underwater with the grapple. Oh, it's such a large distance! Okay, now we're, now we're headed home. Yeah, because there's the boat. I thought it just didn't come into render distance yet. I... I see now the error of my ways. Okay, nice. The turkey is getting progressively closer. That sucks. We just need to, hopefully we have enough. Oh, no, no, no. I need to make that sickle, get a bunch of fiber, and then we're going to go park our boat right over there. I do wonder if we're going to need more hide, though. You know what? It's not really worth it, though, because we're going to go in there and we're going to get chased by a freaking mega turkey. Is Wow, but there's so much wood over there. Yeah, nope, never mind. The jabot is right next to the turtle. We're just gonna get out of here. Let's just get the hell out of here, dude. This beach is so close to being overtaken and then we're gonna lose everything. No, 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 no. Oh God. Oh, those sails dropping just scared the crap out of me, dude. That's a really cool realist. I should have just backed up. I see that now. I forgot I could just back up. About to go live a freaking pirate's life at one of these beautiful islands. The second one of them is de designated as a, as a herbivore island where I can safely just no, but even the herbivores are going to be super modded boss ones that'll still kill us. Because everything's hostile now, so I guess there's just no happiness left in this world, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, this should be a good safe spot to build. Finally, after like two hours, <laughs> we've achieved like a select- I'm not even going to jinx it. Okay, some of those. I'm just going to start grabbing and crafting a whole bunch of random crap. It's going to be magnificent. Probably don't start with the tables though, Johnny, you dumb idiots. I suppose the ropes, yes. I don't have much of a game plan for this. I just have a slight vision, but I'm gonna get like, we'll just, uh, we can just update it as, as the days go on. You know what I mean? We gotta make sure we don't hog up. Okay, so we want it to be, I'm gonna have half this be constructed on and half of it is just going to remain beautiful boats. Cause it's still like a very nice, whole like shebang I guess I do want this to be a uh, like perhaps we'll have some come over like this and then yes I think this is a good amount of well except for the storage box okay we almost have enough for the crane we have the metal smelting over there that'll be sweet I think I'm gonna put the crane here but I want to see how much space it takes up I want to build around the crane basically the crane is the priority here Again, the crane has some sweet uses. If anyone missed it earlier in the video, it can be used to unload resources from creatures and then distribute them res or distribute the resources to your selected containers, which we'll have organized. So we can just like back it up against the like the land and whatever creature we're using could, you know. The real question is where to put the toilets. I want to have like, hmm, I want to have like a little captain's chamber right here. And then just an open area crafting area here. And then this will be like the, st the start of the storage area here. And so we expand and make a bigger boats. But it's going to be difficult where to put the crapper. The crapper's got to be in a free area. You got to feel, you don't want to be imprisoned in the captain's quarters while you're taking a dump. You want to have like, you know what I mean? You want to be free. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'm overthinking where to put the toilet. Oh. No. All right. The magnificent crane. Oh yeah, dude. This is going to come along nicely. Is this how he wanted though? It's gonna take a bird of space. The captain's quarter is gonna suffer space-wise, but the legitimacy of this ship is just gonna skyrocket once it's all put together. Okay, we need to build about 22 rope walls, I'm guessing. We need rope doorway. Just gonna go for standard ceilings right now, cause I don't know. We're still in the rearranging stage. We do need a rope bed, absolutely. We could go for extra large fake sails. They're pretty awesome. They'll impress the women, but otherwise they're so freaking in the way, dude. I saw them on the mod photo. They're amazing, but no, not the way we're doing it. Should make the captain's quarters a little better. I just don't like expanding off the side. I, I feel like if we ever get attacked by something, anything, like I guess just don't put anything valuable right here. Cause it, it is like, it will be destroyed very easily. And here shall be the walling for the captain's quarters. Pretty freaking magnificent. 
Like, it's, I guess it's not really. They wouldn't actually live in ropes in real life, you know what I'm saying? But it's pretty suiting for this. I guess we should open this up to some sort of... I, I just don't want to have it open. I want to have the captain's quarters completely closed. You know what? I've got it. Check this out. Oh, yes. Oh, that's success. That's how you know you've made it in life right there. Freaking, and then the ultimate test, do we fall off? No, we do not. Okay, sweet. Then we just close it, but we're not taking it up. We've got the whole toilet situation figured out. I guess we could have had a rustic bed instead of a rope bed. It's pretty much just about personal preference though. You know what I mean? Like, I like to think our dude prefers the ropes. And then every captain needs a table where he could just dis- uh, uh, Not like discuss things because we're all alone on the open sea But I guess just like look at his mapping. It's a pretty nice little captain's quarters It's mostly just a bed and a place to take a dump, but that's really all a man needs in this life All right, there we go. The little shanty pad is secured on the left side Okay, sweet. We need an ore bin. Wait, how many metal ingots do you require? 40. Holy crap. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second What's crazy is I think we do need a shed for each individual resource, but I was just gonna put maybe one or two down with an ore bin to focus the main ones right now. And then we'll get the others in there. Well, how big is this shit? Yeah, this is a big shed. This actually might directly alter the store. Although if we just have one good shed on here, this is a learning experience. I wonder if there's any sort of way to just have this. Okay, so this is the fiber. Okay, cool. It's the fiber one because I deposited fiber, but also, look, there's, like, fiber on the floor of it. And then I suppose as you add more and more, then... What are we doing here with our lives? As you add more, then more pi appears. And then when you take it all, it just looks like this. Trippy. And then you can select how much fiber you want to withdraw. Or just all of it. I suppose it's kind of a system that isn't really broken. So there's no reason to mess with it. But it's fun to have stuff that looks like this around base. You know what I mean? It makes us look like traveling barge pirates. I don't know. It also kind of makes us look kind of like shit. You know what? That's more of an at base kind of thing. Not at all the ship. It's too big. Couple of pirate themed chests for storage. Now note, they are not pirate chests. <laughs> They're just pirate themed chests, I suppose. Pirate era storage things. Okay, so what else do we need at least for today? I guess we need to actually, like, put the forge and smithy in places. We need to actually have stuff in place for that. Okay, the issue, I really want these rustic forges. They're so nice, but they're 700 stone. Do we have enough stone to just be thrown around? I guess, yeah, we do. Okay, so we can at least get two of those going. Oh, no, we can only get one. Damn, I guess just because of hide. That is an expensive forge, but I guess we'll just get more hide after. It's better to just, like, be pay, pay more to be beautiful in this situation, because... It's a video game. Okay, the forge can go up against, up against that. That way it's at least on the foundations. It's not on a ceiling. It looks cool as all hell. It does make this place a little more crowded, but it's fine because if I feel cramps, I'll just come out here and take a dump. Plus, listen to that sound. When you turned it off and on, it's the sound of like a furnace going, you know, that's pretty fancy. The smithy can't go there either. The smithy also has to go on a foundation, just, just to be sure. Okay, there. It's all coming together. Damn, bro. I think we're legit running out of wood. I think it was bound to happen at one point or another. And it's finally happening. I'm adding two more storage things, because these storage ones are going to be for resources and junk for the crane. Until we have places for them to actually officially go. This will just be for... I don't want that to be on the freaking cliff's edge either, dude. Because, like, what if it gets destroyed? This will have all of our stuff in it. You know what? Four chests in the back. Just overdoing it completely. Because you never... Actually, these probably hold so much stuff. I'm, I'm completely over-exaggerating. Two should be fine. All right. And just... Whoa, 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 you misplaced box bastard. There's nothing in this, right? Yeah, let's get you out of here. And now it's perfect. Look at this traveling beautiful barge. It's not the most beautiful thing by far, but for, like, episode one, I think it's pretty amazing. Plus, like, the crane, the whole... The whole everything we got going on, I'm pretty excited about it. Complete safety, as, and we can just, like, lay down on our awesome net bed in the middle of the ocean. In our pirate's captain's quarters. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, check out episode two, and comment name suggestions down below for our ship. The ship does need a name. It needs something beautiful to really emphasize how awesome it is. And I will see you guys next time.